Hey guys, how's it going today? So I have a friend who lives out in uh, what I'll call a uh, rural residential area out in uh, Nevada, other side of the hill from here. She's telling me a story the other day that uh, made me kind of stop and think and thought maybe it was worth talking about to y'all. So, the first story she told me is, again, she lives rural residential. I believe you got to take a dirt road to get down to her place. And uh, it's a popular riding area out there called the Beaver Dam Wash. So anyway, there's lots of guys on, you know, dirt bikes and four-wheelers and uh, UTVs and everybody's out there riding, carrying on, having a good time. Which is great, because that's what we all do, right? Um, however, she was heading home the other day. She was uh, coming around a blind corner. And out of nowhere, around this blind corner, just hauling butt, comes a uh, razor or something, you know, of some sort. And... Uh, she almost has to swerve off the road to not take him out. And then, of course, he's doing the same thing. And uh, pretty near miss. Um, she was really afraid that uh, she was going to go off the side of the embankment and, you know, possibly roll her, her car or something. And I believe she said it was the uh, next day if not a day or two later. Same road, different blind corner. She says, you know, she's going, you know, moderate, you know, 25, maybe 30 miles an hour. It's dirt road out in the middle of nowhere. But now she's, you know, worried about these guys because it's a, a, a problem. Everybody in her community is, you know, kind of fed up with it. And, uh, Another corner, and she slows down, and around this blind corner, like a bat out of hell, comes a guy on a dirt bike. She slams on her brakes, you know, and starts getting to the side of the road. And the guy, she said, uh, knew he wasn't going to be able to get away, so he jumped off the damn bike. And uh, she proceeded to run over. What she was afraid of was him. Thank God it was just the motorcycle that she ran over. But she said she sat in her car for what felt like an eternity. Because um, she didn't want to get out. Because she was afraid she had, uh, you know, ran this guy over. She gets out and the, the guy's, you know, laying in the bushes off the side of the road. And she had just ran over his... Uh, his motorcycle, thankfully. But she tells me this is a pretty, pretty big problem out there where she lives, and I can see that because, you know, I, I ride these roads a lot myself. And I think sometimes we forget that we are in, uh, again, what I'm calling, for the sake of not knowing what to call it, is a uh, rural residential area. You know, and, and, and people live out here, and, and this is the road they take to you get home and take their kids to school, and I mean, it's the road their kids play on, you know, and their little four-wheelers, and their little dirt bikes and stuff, and you got a bunch of guys riding like idiots, treating it like a motocross track, or treating it like they're out in the middle of the desert with nobody around for a hundred miles. never really looked at it from her perspective until she was started telling me these stories. I told her I'd do a little vlog on it, you know, maybe raise a little bit of awareness, but uh, I don't know guys, I think it's something that uh, we all need to think about when we're riding in these types of areas. Um, if you're on a dirt road that's obviously somebody's road that they use to get to their house or to you know, get to their cattle or something. 
just think about that and uh, maybe not take those blind corners wide like a bat out of hell because uh, there could be a uh, well hell Michelle could be on the other side of that road and just about ready to run your butt over and uh, I doubt you want to get ran over and I know Michelle doesn't want to run you over so think about that guys 